First of all, I've got some chicken bits. You can use anything you want. Yeah. Slash the breasts. skin. I've got breast and leg. Yeah. I've used half a chicken. Slash the skin a little bit so the skin cooks at the same time. And then it's salt first and lemon juice. Now, the lemon juice actually tenderises the meat so that when it does cook, you don't end up with it being tough. Okay. So the next bit to that, then I'm going to do that, leave that sort of sit maybe with a little bit of time for some, for a, a, you know, a bit of flavour. Because you think about Greek food and actually, and, and kebabs and stuff, and time is really prevalent. Lots and lots of yoghurt. Yoghurt? Yeah, yoghurt. Not yoghurt, it's yoghurt. <laughs> yoghurt. So the whole thing with this is, this protects... So just natural yoghurt. And it protects the flesh, but it also means you get a lot of flavour from it, because it cooks nicely. And does that keep it moist as well? Yes, yeah. keeps it lovely and moist. A bit, a bit of oil on your griddle. If you're doing a barbie, you don't need anything like that. And then skin side down. Can I just ask, would you marinate that if you had time? For... Yeah, you can leave it overnight. Yeah. That's fine. But if it's a bit of lamb, do it overnight, and yeah. then it'll be nice and tender. And give it a bit of welly. Make sure it makes some noise. <laughs> Nothing in life is any good without noise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It needs noise. So that's that. Now, as they cook away, I'm going to show you a life skill, Eamon, that you're going to actually okay. you're gonna love me for. A life skill? Yeah, it's how to make flatbreads without a rolling pin. Ooh. You make lots of different ones, like roll, and then you put lots of flour between them. And then all you do is you just push them all at the same time, turn them over, and they all become exactly the same size. Oh, yeah. Look, see, so that yeah. you can now you can make a load of kebabs for your whole family now, I mean, when you're at home. That's he really... does that quite often. I'm sure he does. Yes, but he hasn't but quite mastered the flatbread yet. But, so... but, but you do yeah. pizza bases, do the same. Mm -hmm. Just, but you don't need a rolling pin and they'll all come out and the same. they're all the same. Once they're floured, that's going into a hot pan which has got no oil at all. Ooh. And that'll make, now make a proper flatbread. And flatbread is just what? Flour and oil? There is a really quick... This recipe is on the, on the website. Yeah. It's got some yeast in it. The quickest one is half yoghurt, half flour. Exactly the same amount of pinch of salt. Mix the whole together. Flatbread. The other really quick one is down the supermarket, you buy a pack. That's, <laughs> that's easy. I think that's, that's what we'll easy. go for. So as the chicken grills away, grill, 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 once it's got some colour on it, turned over, and then we put it into an oven, and then um, put, put the grill on. And what happens is, you end up with this lovely, crispy, crunchy, and we all know Ooh, this week that. that crispy skin is really important. Mm -hmm. Crispy skin has to be absolutely the thing. That's it there. So lovely and crisp, but those bits of chicken stay moist because of the yoghurt and all the flavour. Tzatziki, really quickest way to do it. So you want to add bits to your, your, your um, That's the kebab. cucumber yoghurt thing. Yeah, cucumber, chopped cucumber, some yoghurt. I love the yoghurt. Yoghurt. Bit of mint, a bit of garlic. See, I'm already outside the barbie with my Australian accent, bottle of wine, couple of beers. <laughs> And, and for people one. that haven't seen MasterChef, the crispy skin reference. Uh, well, there was just an issue about we, crispy skin's been quite quite a big thing this this series. People want we want crispy skin. Um, uh, if it should be crispy and not crispy skin, if it shouldn't be crispy, that's right. <laughs> that's clear. That's, that's right. Then. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Is it the final this Friday? Final this Friday. Yeah, good finalists. It's Looking amazing. It's it. amazing, amazing, amazing final. I think it's it's one of the best years we've ever done. Really? Yeah. yeah. And you've done how many years now? Fourteen. Wow. Fourteen years. I've been doing it for as long as you've been on telly, Only. That's about yeah, half the yeah, time. Yeah, half the time. <laughs> right. yeah. What, you've been on for seven years? No, I've been on for eight. I've been on for 38. 30, 38. Right, so for me, the best thing to do now, can you pass that platter over? Is that, now that, that literally... very nice, doesn't it? Yeah, what did you say, pass this over? Just put that there in the middle. Mm. Because it's I believe that if you want to make a kebab, right, yeah. it should be like a family, you tuck in, have whatever you like. Chop the chicken up yeah. mm -hmm. into bits, and then you've got... Do you want it over there? Hang on, I'll bring oh, it to you. Thank you very much. There we go, look at this. That's a very clever plate, because it looks like a big stone plate and it's plastic. That's it. It's well, really light. It's, it's actually it's a high-grade ceramic there. Sorry, um, high-grade ceramic. Of course, ceramic. yeah, high -grade. Then you just see a bit of bread, anything else you want with it, and mix yep. it all together. As so you know, the recipes are always there. And then a little bit of feta cheese across the top. Nice, bit of hummus. Yeah, flatbreads which I made for you this morning. Lovely. More flatbreads over here cooking. I'm going to put more cheese in your bag. Give me the knife. And that's all you got to do. But the thing is, if it's a barbie, you're outside with all your friends, mm -hmm. and you can have it as a salad. You can have it as a, you know, a bit of chicken. You can have it as a, a sandwich, whatever you want really. And there's a little tomato salad over there with some onions and tomatoes and stuff. Are you sniffing the so chicken what to make sure you... it's okay? Mm -hmm. Is it all right? No, no, it's lovely. It's really nice. Um, you've kept it moist. I have. Yeah. So what would you, if you were making Crispy your own now, because everyone's different, aren't they? So I'd like that, I'd put the hummus on my pita bread. Yeah, well, I would probably, the other thing is, open that up and then just grab a bit of whatever I can, chuck it inside, 
Can I get by your spot there? Bit of hummus, wrap it up, and um, I would then go, sunshine, please, sunshine, and let me light a barbecue. Do you barbecue all the time when you can? All the time. Yeah. Just do that. Have I got flour on my nose yeah, now? Yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> so have I now. You've got flour going. But the warm weather is coming, apparently. It doesn't look like... I know it doesn't look like it now, but the forecast this morning said by the weekend it's going to start... And next week will be what very What about warm. if we all lit our barbecues at home and maybe it'd be like a rain dance Make and the rain would stop? <laughs> oh, gosh, that means having to clean it. Cleaning barbecues. Yeah. Just turn the flame up high. Seriously, is that mm -hmm. what you would do? Yeah. Yeah, it burns off the... Don't clean the barbecue. Mm -hmm. All you do is get a bit of lemon... Turn your barbecue up really, really high, get it flaming, take a lemon and then rub the lemon across the um, grill bars and that will clean everything off when it's hot. Done. How to clean a barbie. OK. There and you if go. you die of food Who poisoning, knew? don't blame us. OK? It's a lemon. That's a disclaimer there. And don't burn lemon. your hand. Mm -hmm. Funny, someone told me to take lemon juice straight for my cough, which you've just provided. Well, I hope it's very good, it's like an antiseptic. I hope it doesn't make you cough. I think that with a shot of vodka might be all right. So <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do Thank that? Thank you, John. Is that better? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, thank you very Thanks much, John. John. Absolutely for bringing us a little taste of summer.